Today we're going to be helping some people on the PlayStation 3. So a lot of people have been having this issue and uh, it did kind of like mess me up on one of the games. I'm going to show you guys a clip of t uh, actually just one game I believe. And that is uh, Modern Warfare 2. As you can see right there where it says NAT type, it pretty much says uh, strict. So I don't know why. This actually let me play Modern Warfare 2, but I had problems playing on Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 would not let me get into a game, and even if I did get into a game, it would kick me out. It just wouldn't let me. So what you got to do is, you got to go to any of your web browser pages. You pretty much, you pretty much got to type in this address right here, and once you press enter, it's going to tell you to uh, put your username and your password. So if you don't know your username and your password, just look at your router. Your router will say your your username and password. So you don't need to, uh, you don't have to worry if you don't know it. Make sure you just look at your router. Typically says it. Also, if you don't know your, if some, some, some are actually defaults. Some of them are admin and password. Yeah, I know the password is password. Some of them, some of them. Just to let you guys know, uh, it depends on what version you have. So keep in mind, once again, look at your router in case you don't know your thing. Now, I don't know how your router is, so I cannot help you how to find things. But I, for my router, I went to advance. I went to setup and I went to a thing called WAN setup or WAN setup. So one thing you want to do is this thing right here is going to be default DMZ server. I don't know what this is. You could make research on what it does. Your router already has a lot of security. I don't think this messes up with your security. As you can see, there's a function right here called security. So this is your security stuff. So if you disable this DMZ server, it does not mess up with your securities by, for, for anyone that's wondering. So it was actually, it was on, but I disabled it. And because I disabled the DMZ server, it pretty much started letting my, my Call of Duty games be open that. As you can see, I'm going to post some videos of some, of some Call of Duty games where it says open, open. I, ever since I disabled this, I've been able to pretty much play in a open that and connect to games really good on Call of Duty. So what you want to do is pretty much find this setting and pretty much disable it and you'll be able to connect because this was actually not letting me connect to Black Ops 2. I was still able to play on Modern Warfare 2 and on Black Ops 1 but after I disabled this I've had no issue getting into games anymore. Black Ops 2 had the biggest issue as it did not let me get in the game and then even if it did get me into a game it would just kick me out so maybe that's what you guys are dealing with so i suggest to uh, pretty much get on your pretty much get on your your router and uh, do this stuff once again if you guys need any more help let me know anyways just i hope this helped you guys and play some ps3 peace